Okay. So good evening, everybody. That's a Malaysian model. I switched from German models to Malaysia. All right. So we're about to show you the new prop film we had got on Friday. Woke up to some money on Cash App, so we bought a twenty dollar five K Maven prop film two phase challenge. Four hundred dollars phase one. Uh, $250 phase two. So what we did was right now we're negative 124 in the total profit. We got to make 400 plus extra 124 because as you can see, we tried to we tried to buy Ethereum on Friday, bro, a hundred times with that one lot right there. You know what I'm saying? And it was negative 108 when we closed it today. And then before we closed it, we thought it was buying up, and we bought it up like 40 more times. So with four different 0 0.1s. So you know, 0 0.1 to 0 0.10. So four of those that would have been 0.4 or 0 0.40. So close that out. So we didn't go negative 200. So we were negative 124. Boom, boom. We have we had seven sales in on platinum. You see, that's worth 91 dollars now. And we just put in an extra three at like 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's 10, 17 p.m. Eastern time right now on Sunday, August 4th, 2024. Chad is every here. recording live from. ATL GA USA Old National Highway, aka Dirty 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 Net. So our take profits, it might not hit the take profit of 900, but if it does hit 900, this point seven, you know, the prop calls it seven, but it's really a zero point zero seven. So that would be worth 442, and then the zero point zero three or the three will be worth. 142 at 900 so that right there will make up for the one plus the extra twenty dollars or whatnot and that added to that 142 added to the 440 so the 440 added to 142 400 plus 100 542 plus another 40 80 580 or whatever so 580 minus the uh, 400 plus 124, 524. So we won't make it to the 580. We'll get to 560. Once we get to like 560 or something like that, we'll be out of there. So those are the trades we have in now, right? So now we're going to go to our meta trader where we're watching the algo. I'm going to explain the algo to you, the algorithm, the, the setup that we have. As you can see, Ethereum, bro, has dropped to 2233, bro. It really dropped to 21. Really dropped to 21. Um, we dropped to 2127, bro. Almost 2100, even right from 2300, but not from 30,000, from like 3000. Like, we'll say Friday when we put in the buy, the 100 buys, bro. We were supposed to put in 100 sales, bro. I faded the four hour signal, I faded the algo. Don't fade this algo. I'm about to explain to you all. That would have been worth a hundred dollars one trade on my live account because I had a live account with twelve dollars in there to buy it of course it crashed it right i would have sold it. it would have been a hundred dollars right there at this point and i, I have to make a hundred dollars in my live account to, to pull off any money with the hundred dollar minimum withdrawal so i would have been able to withdraw it right now bro you know and like i'm like whoa okay so now i get it i'm about to explain the algorithm to you it just did a almost a one thousand dollar drop it's still dropping crazy this is the four hour chart so the algo right boom the cci5 the cci14 and the cci7 once the CCI5 goes positive, we're going to buy it in our prop fund until we get some money on our live and buy it on the live and make 100 or whatever and, you know, withdraw that so we can pay our bills. But on the prop fund, you know, I'm on the challenge phase. I got to make 400 and then 250. So I'll, I'll make that first 580, 560 to pass phase one and then to get into more trades to pass phase two, 250 profit. Then I'll fund it. Then they'll give me a live account. And then I'm good to go and I won't get a payout for like 10 days. This once every 10 days, I believe. So in between that time, I have to have money in my live account so I can actually be living off of that. So I won't necessarily be living off of the prop firm money for real. I'm, I'm going to be living off of the live account money. And then when I finally do get a payout for the prop firm, I'm going to reinvest that into more prop firms, basically put in, you know, 350 to, you know, get a 100K challenge. So I have a 4K drawdown limit, and then I'm going to be good on that one, trading Ethereum and Platinum. And my goal is to double the prop firm. So if I have a 5K account, I want to bring in 5K off of that every month. If I have that 100K account, you know, I at least want to bring in whatever the drawdown limit is. So the drawdown limit for the 100K would be 4K. 
I want to bring in 4K a month. I'll do the math calculations on that later for Platinum and Ethereum to see how much I got to do with the Ethereum one lot, $1,000 moves. I'll be able to make $1,000 on that one move. So I'll be able to catch that move maybe once or twice a week. And then I could do that, you know, four times a month and go and bring in the 4K, doubling the, you know, bringing in 100% on the drawdown limit on the 100K account just from Ethereum alone. Then in that same account, I'll be trading Platinum like with the 100K account, 4K drawdown limit i'll probably do like 50 platinum trades or 20 to 50 platinum trades if not 100 and then with 50 i'll be able to bring in five thousand dollars from a hundred dollar move because they're going to pay me a hundred dollars for every hundred dollars in moves with a um with just one trade in so if i have one trade in and it moves a hundred dollars i buy it and it goes up a hundred dollars i make a hundred so if i have you know 50 trades i'm gonna make 5k if i have 100 trades then i'm gonna make 10k so if I make, so if I just shoot for 50 trades in on platinum mats on the on the 100k with the 4k drawdown limit, I'll be able to bring in the drawdown limit plus the extra band, and then I'll be bringing in the drawdown limit on the uh, Ethereum. So I'll be bringing in the drawdown limit twice, so like five to ten bands, four to eight bands a week or something like that, and then. Or at least per wave and see how long it takes to do that on a weekly monthly basis but I'll be, I'll be bringing it 4k twice 4k from platinum 4k from 4 to 5k from platinum and ethereum you know once every wave maybe like four waves so 4k you know five 5k to 10k four times a month that's 40k that's one third of the 100k that's almost 50% that's like 40% of yeah that's exactly 40 percent of the entire account now if i'm bringing in 50 percent on a 100k account every month that's just insane that's going to be an insane thing so let me explain the algorithm to you right now i'm basically timing the stochastic so i have my stochastic let me show you all of the indicators right so boom i have um moving average 400 you know simple moving average moving average 200 i have that blue the 400 is red then i have the moving average 50 is pink then i, I put them all one pixel and then the moving average five or whatever i have that what color light blue turquoise almost then i have three commodity channel index ccis and then the cci7 I, I make that one red one pixel and um i have it for typical price hlc high low close slash three and the 14 cci 14 dark blue royal or navy blue and then the third one the five i have that pink or fuchsia or whatever thing is pink and then i have my uh, triple mat d set up so i have my first mat d i split my mat d in half so that the default mat d is the uh, mat d 12 26 and 9 close period right boom i split that in half three times or i split that in three right so i split it in half and split it in half again so i split it in three so i split it in half once and that turns it into a six a six thirteen or five mac d so i call that the half mac d mac d half the half the half d or whatever so i have my mac d 12 26 and 9 i have my mac d 6 13 to 5 and then i have my mac d 3 7 and 5 so you can call it my mac d1 this my this my mac d1 and this my mac d2 and then the mac d three which is twelve so mat d one is the mat d three or the mat d two is the mat d six and the mat d three is the mat d twelve the default mat d then on this one i have the ctr five in there again and then i have the stochastic oscillator nine six six period because that's the same period that investing.com uses so i'll show you investing.com stochastic real quickly so it's going to take you to the hourly Stochastic boom right there. Uh, you see right there, stochastic nine and six. So I just put an extra six. I figured it was a six after that. So I just turned it to nine six six, and boom, that's the algo right there. Let's close that, and that's going to be your algo. So we have our CCI five. So what we're doing is we're waiting for a triple negative or a triple positive on the MACD, right? On the four hour, we use the four hour time frame. You see right here, four hour time frame right there, right? Let me touch it, boom right there, four hour time frame. So the MACD1 or the boom went negative 250, right? Then the MACD2 or the MACD6 went negative 199, boom. MACD12 went negative 156, right? This is, this is a Ethereum chart. 
So after that, we got a triple negative MACD. So it's maxed out. So that's the push. There are no moving averages below it to stop it. So it's just going to keep pushing down until our CCI5 or CCI7 go positive. As you can see, the CCI5 is negative 113 versus the CCI7 at negative 150. So that's pretty close. So most likely when the CCI5 does switch to positive from 113 negative, the CCI7 should be like, you know, 40 points, 45 points, 50 points almost, 40 points away from positive. So they're pretty close. So when this goes positive, we're going to buy it up in the pot firm and uh, we're going to hit them with a one lot. And that's going to help us pass through phase one and phase two of our prop firm so we can get funded for the first time or whatever. So that's the algo. I explained everything really fast. I just want to do a real quick, fast, you know, video breakdown of, of where we've been at. So had I sold, you know, uh, had I sold Ethereum along with Platinum on Friday, it would have been good. It would have made $1,000 in the prop, but it wouldn't have made that much. Once it hit 400 I would have been out of there. And I would I would have never been a negative one twenty four drawdown. It would have been all pop profit, and I would have you know maybe even did a point two. I mean a, a two lot on there had I known, and then it would have only needed um, two hundred dollar drop from three thousand. So by twenty eight hundred I would have been out of there. But if not by twenty five hundred twenty six hundred I would have been out of there, and the platinum cells would have been closed out. Then I would have got into more platinum cells because that wave kind of just started and it's still going. So. To show you platinum really quickly, show you platinum. Um, okay, okay. To show you platinum real quickly. Um, the four-hour MACD three is negative five thousand. Boom, and then the MACD six is negative four thousand, and now the MACD twelve just went negative four hundred or negative zero point four hundred. So we're going to let that keep pushing. Once that pushes through, once that pushes through um, negative, uh, we're just going to wait until this four hour CCI7 goes positive. And then we're going to buy it because that means that the triple MACD is going to be going positive after that. So the MACD3 is going to go positive. So for now, we just. Um, we just hold out for the CCI7 to go positive at this point because the third MACD just went negative. So now we gotta let that kind of go a few thousand points negative. As you see, this one went negative 5,000, negative 4,000. So hopefully the MACD12 goes to negative 4 to 5,000 as well. And that will give us time for the CCI7 to go positive. When that goes positive, we're gonna buy it up in the prop. And by the time that does, you know, all happen, I would have passed just off of the platinum because that's all I have in my prop anyway. But I would have passed off of that at that point if it goes to like 900. But if it just goes to like 930, I got an extra three in there, so that should make it closer to getting the 400 plus the 124. I gotta make that sort of 530 or whatever, 540, 550. Gotta make that. So that's basically everything right there. And uh, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll come back and be doing more updates. But I wanted to make a video where I'm actually talking and everything. So now we're just going to go back to the video I was just playing to, um, to end it off with. I'm gonna show you this one video. This junk go hard. I don't know. 
It might be copyright infringement. I have some music playing, so I'm not even going to do that one. I'll do it in another video. I'll just upload that video by itself. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow to show you the progress on the trades. Have a great night.